The following is a presentation of KBTC Profiles. I think of music in a continuum, so music, dance, theater, anything in which music figures. And I look to these traditions and how people practice them to tell me a little bit about how people relate to the world around them. My name is Amira Nimji. I am a professor of ethnomusicology here at the University of Puget Sound. I'm also a dancer and a musician. I was born in Toronto, Canada. And my family actually had a very long migratory history through many different places. As a Muslim, I certainly had a very, very vibrant musical life and the support of my family and my community. I started to explore this field, ethnomusicology, quite early on because it asked questions that I had of my musical life and my diverse experience. Asian American is a term that really has been given to me. I'm learning how to define what Asian American means to me. As a South Asian, Canadian, Muslim, I decided to pursue Gatak almost as a means to continue to explore the heritage that has made me who I am. Kathak dance is a tradition of what is called Indian classical dance. The word Kathak is derived from the word Katha, which means story in Sanskrit. All the Indian classical dance forms tell stories using the hands and the eyes and the face in, in mime. So today what you see on stage is the mix of storytelling from, yes, Hindu mythology, you see a lot of vocabulary that's probably derived from the courts of northern India, specifically during the period of Mughal leadership, which was a kind of secular Islamic culture that was in power. The first piece is called Bol Baran. Bol meaning word is just the recitation of these rhythmic compositions. And Baran are what they're called based on the drum uh, strokes. And I do that with my feet. Slapping and tapping of the feet on the floor, almost like the floor is a drum head. So we tap and, uh, and strike the floor to make rhythm. We tie a string of bells around our ankles to highlight the sound of the feet hitting the floor. And these are called gungrus. These compositions come from my teacher, and it is a really wonderful, almost tangible heritage that is passed down through different styles of Gathak. It's really important that in this time, we need to understand people on their own terms to be able to understand how they relate to civic life and to each other. All of those are clues and hints in the dance form itself. I think their richness is indifference. Abhinay, which means acting. One uses the hands and the eyes and the face in a very codified set of gestures to tell stories in mime. And so the second piece is quite different. It is a practice of my approach to contemporary Gathak. It is exploring some of the more lyrical movement-based aspects to telling a story. The 
the first thing one would notice is that I'm not wearing bells on my feet. The movements themselves come from the Kathak vocabulary, but the music has been composed in a contemporary style. So the sounds are new, but my relationship to the piece is still very much Kathak. I think dance is just, it can save people's lives. It feels like whenever I'm dancing, it is what my body is meant to do. There's a history of Kathak. It's, it's so cosmopolitan and so diverse. I do relate to the dance form as one of movement and migration, just as I see my own background. I dance because it makes sense for how I relate to the world. KBTC profiles are available at kbtc.org.